everyone, so today I want to talk about brushes. Um, I had a request from one of my friends to do a brush video of brushes I like, what I would recommend purchasing, um, and how to use them. Uh, I know that everyone has their own technique. I'm just saying mine, uh, mine personally that I use in putting on eyeshadow or any other product for that matter so let's hop into the video so first up there's a million places that you can buy brushes I mean elf carries um, the 11 piece set I think and those are pretty good brushes uh, with my experience a lot of the handles have broke on them um, and I I wash my brushes very good make sure to take care of them I, I take care of them but probably two or three um, just within that set the handle fell off but if you are looking for or if you are on a budget and you don't really want to spend that much but want to get good quality brushes elf is pretty good I'll link the website down below along with all the other websites and um, I may do a how I clean my brushes video. I know there's a million and it's really not that hard to do. But if you guys want to see one, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to do it. But moving on, uh, BH Cosmetics. They have, pro I don't even know how many sets of brushes they have, but they have quite a bit of brushes. And those are a little bit more than e.l.f. If not so if not the same price on some of them are pretty close. But those you get a lot more brushes. Um, Personally, I think they're better quality than e.l.f., but I have probably at least two or three sets from BH Cosmetics, and they have not failed me yet. I absolutely love their brushes. Um, moving on up to higher-end brushes, a um, little bit more um, better quality, I guess, from just, just again, these are my thoughts and opinions. Um, but MAC, I'm... I think they're a little overpriced for their brushes and Sigma has a lot of the brushes that they have and they're a little bit cheaper so Sigma I have a million brushes from Sigma I am a, I love Sigma if I have to choose a brand of brushes that I love for myself and for clients Sigma is definitely definitely one of them uh, I love their brushes I've never had anything wrong with shedding or falling apart anything like that I absolutely love their brushes um, and then again Mac which has they both have very similar brushes but Mac is a little bit more higher price there's actually a girl here on YouTube I think she lives in Oakland Oakland? I think that's what I'm saying it. Oakland? I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But uh, her name's Shannon, and I will link her her brushes down below. Uh, it's XO Beauty. I have not tried her brushes personally, even though I would love to, because she's just absolutely amazing. Um, but I know that she has some that are uh, kind of like Sigma's, but I haven't seen all of them again, so I can't really talk much about it um, as I can the other brands. First, I'm going to show you some of the brushes that I like um, that I've purchased. This brush set I purchased for my kit. I showed in a haul video. Um, I'll link that down below. And it is the 36-piece, this thing's huge, 36-piece brush set. It's by BH Cosmetics, and it has, like, leather casing I guess to say and you come with all these brushes all the way from lip and eyeliner brushes fan brush all the way to blending shader um, a whole bunch of eye shadow brushes in general and then moving on to face products and then a big fan brush which I absolutely love 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 and then that's so I'm going to go through a little bit of these brushes. First up is the fan brush. Um, this is pretty good quality. Um, I've seen some a little bit more dense than this, but for BH Medics um, pricing, it's it's pretty good. But um, you can use this as a highlighter to highlight your cheekbones down the bridge of the nose, your cupid's bow if you want to use a fan brush this big, or you can just use a smaller one as an alternative for your cupid's bow, whichever you prefer, really. I mean, they're pretty much the same, just this is bigger and more dense, and I think spreads product better than this. But you can highlight your cheekbones. Um, I've seen some people contour with it, which I personally don't do, but I mean, you could do that. And also, I've seen people apply powder with this. They just spray or put it in there and then move up and down on their face to set it. I personally just rather use a powder brush but whatever floats your boat. <laughs> then they have a powder brush. I'm sorry if some of these brushes are dirty because I did do a friend's makeup over the weekend. This is just a plain powder, bl powder brush. Um, 
You can apply powder with it, of course. This is a dual fiber brush or a stippling brush. There's so many names for this brush, it's crazy. But I personally like this for foundation um, or blush. Either one of them work out for me. I've seen people br uh, contour with it, of using this side to contour. Um, I like small, a little bit of a smaller one to do my blush. I think it blends it out amazingly. It's just amazing. Um, and then again, with foundation, just stipple all over your face and then use it to blend it out. It gives a very airbrush effect. Next up is a blush brush. Um, this is, I think it's an amazing brush. Um, I have had no um, shedding at this pack at all. I know my 15 um, Wild Purple brush set, I did have a little bit of shedding with the smaller eye brushes, but not with this one at all. Um, and after I washed that one, it was... After the second or third time I washed it, it was fine. Next up is another foundation brush. This is um, just a flat foundation brush. It's very flat, as you can see. Um, you can use this. I mean, I personally, when I started applying foundation, I used a sponge. And then I moved on to this and then got further and further where I found out what I liked and what I didn't. Um, you can use this as foundation. I personally like it to blend in concealer. Um, I feel like with just using it as foundation all across your face, it still remains it very streaky. But with under eye concealer, I feel like it blends it out very well. With these three, these are both blending brushes. And this one, um, again, what I personally use, you do whatever floats your boat. But this one, um, since it's more dense, I use it to blend out the... Um, between my highlight shade and my transition shade or my crease shade, whatever. Blend it out where there's no harsh lines on the edges and there's a good transi transition that's very blended out. Uh, this next one is more of a tapered one. And I like this for putting color into the crease. If you want to deepen the crease more or you can use it to deepen out your uh, V, which is the corner of your eye up to your crease and then over a little bit and just shade that in. Um, I can go into more, more further detail if you'd like, but I have lashes on. But um, I, yeah, you can use this, or you can use it as a pencil brush, which is applying eyeshadow on the lower lash line. And then again, this um, is just another blending brush. There are goat hair brushes, or there's synthetic brushes. I like synthetic brushes to pack on uh, product. I don't think that goat hair brush, I think I like them for more blending. This next brush is, I like to use this brush for many, many purposes, so I don't even know what name to give it. Um, I know Sigma has all their eye brushes numbered, but I personally don't have this one from Sigma. Um, but I like using this brush as eyeliner or putting product onto like very, very close to the lower lashes. Um, I've seen people fill in their eyebrows with them, and you you can do so many things with brushes. You don't have to do what someone else is doing with their brushes. Do whatever works for you. This first one is an e.l.f. brush. It is a complexion brush. I like using this for powder. Um, you can use it to set the whole face. You can use it to bronze up your face a little bit. I want to mention this one real quick. This is the BH Cosmetics version of like the, what I consider the F80. So this is Sigma's F80. And this is BH's Cosmetics version of it. Um, by density, I feel like they're the same density. Um, this one's just a little bit more... Um, this one's just a little bit more bigger. But other than that, this one... Uh, I got in a kit, so I don't know how much it is actually by itself. But I know this one was a heck of a lot cheaper. Um, and I think it's just as good quality. I've used it on some of my clients, and I like it so far. I have no problems with it at all. It is the e.l.f. Powder, blush, powder Brush. I absolutely love this brush. Again, it's like kind of the shape of the flat top kabuki. Um, but it is a powder brush. It is not a kabuki brush. Um, it's synthetic. It's very dense. I, you can use this for packing on powder. I just like to dust a little bit of powder on my face. I really don't like to pack it on. But if you need that coverage and you have uh, hyperpigmentation, acne scarring, just acne. So I, you can contour with this because the edge right here, just put a little bit in the bronzer and that edge right there, perfect, perfect contour. 
is the Angled Blush Brush by e.l.f. I'm just going to go ahead and go through e.l.f. Um, I didn't notice that I do have all of them here. But, again, you can use this forever, whatever you'd like. You could use it um, to contour. You can use it for actual blush. I mean, anything you want to, really. But, it's just a angled brush brush. Blush brush 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 brush. <laughs> And by no means am I saying you have to have all these brushes to be able to do makeup. Um, I just have a lot of collection. I'm just a makeup junkie in general. Uh, I love brushes. I love makeup. But if you can't afford to buy a whole bunch of brushes, just get one set of one of the places that I'm mentioning or anywhere else for that matter. Um, you don't have to have expensive brushes to do whatever you need to do. Your e.l.f. C brush. And I love this brush for packing on powder. It is a very, um, very dense brush in my opinion compared to flat shader brushes that I've seen. But I am absolutely in love with this for packing color on the lid. It is absolutely amazing. It picks up so, so much product. And um, I don't. it's not like you're wasting it. It's just that it picks up enough for what you to work with and get your makeup done quicker. <laughs> or just to get more um, color payoff small precision brush. This is a very, very small pencil brush. Um, I have used this for the lower lash line, highlighting in the inner corner. Um, you can even use it as a small highlighting brush if you don't have another one to use. Um, but I absolutely love this brush. It is very, very precise. The blush brush by e.l.f. And I personally don't like this for blush. I like it to highlight. Um, you could even contour with the tip because it does. Ha it is a tapered tip. Um, but I feel like it's too flat for blush. Um, and it is, it is pretty dense for a blush brush. But I just like more my blush brushes more rounder like that. And um, But yeah, you could highlight and contour with this anything you want to. Okay, so moving on to Sigma brushes, I'm just going to kind of go through of what I typically use them for and what I like to use them for. Again, is the F80. This is the Flat Top Kabuki. I'll, I'll go ahead and say the names with them just so that you guys actually know what I'm talking about if you've never bought Sigma brushes. Um, F stands for face on E is eyes. Um, I don't really, they have a P for precision, stuff like that. But I personally love this for foundation. Um, I'm just in love with it. It blends it out so perfectly. If you want a lot of coverage or if you want your foundation or BB cream for, BB cream for that matter to be pretty sheared out or just light coverage, you could use this. Um, for a powder, you could use this. I mean, any type of face product, I feel like you could use this with this. Um, contouring, I mean, it has the angle right there where you can go ahead and contour anything. But I personally love this for foundation. This three I actually got with my F80, so I'm just talking, there is a kit on there. Um, they do have some kits, but yeah. So this next one is the F84 Angled Kabuki. It's just a kabuki brush that's angled. Uh, you could use this to contour with for blush. Um, I personally use this as just bronzing, not really contouring too much. Um, I like how dense it is to kind of blend out when I really don't want to contour as much. Just kind of bronze it up. Is the F86. This is the tapered kabuki. And um, it is very, very tapered, very dense. I like this. Okay, if you don't have a beauty blender, but you have this brush or vice versa, you could use this to blend out your concealer, um, to set your concealer to set your whole face for that matter or just um, highlighting spots just certain sections of your face um, I use this for blending out my concealer or highlighter when my beauty blender is dirty just as another alternative so I don't really have to use my fingers and I love the way it blends it out and this last kabuki one is the round kabuki this is the F82 and it's just rounded I mean compared to the flat top and the rounded. Um, I've seen people use this as powder. I've seen them use it with foundation. I use this for foundation when my F80 is dirty. Um, I don't use it a whole lot than I would like to, but yeah, I, I, would, I like using this for foundation. Moving on with a couple more face brushes and then we'll get into more eyeshadow brushes. Um, this next one is the Small Contour F05 and it is just a kind of dome um, 
contouring brush, what I think of it. Um, I can only see myself using this as a contour brush, really. Um, but, of course, I do contour with it. You guys have probably seen it in all my other videos. But, yes. Um, I mean, I'm sure you could use this for other purposes, but I just like using it as a contour brush. The tapered face brush, and this is the powder brush. Um, I, I like using these both to set my... Uh, to set my foundation. Uh, I use this sometimes to just bronze up my cheeks a little bit just to put a little color on them. But um, yeah, I pretty much use both these to just set my face with. The small dual fiber brush. This is the F55. It's this is just a smaller version of the BH Cosmetics one. And I'm absolutely in love with this. Of course, you can probably see I've used it for blush. Um, it blends it out so amazing, 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 amazing. When I use um, like the e.l.f. angled blush brush that you've seen, I like it to pack on color, but it doesn't really blend it out good. Um, I just like it to put the color on there basically, but it doesn't blend it out completely. This is so amazing. I mean, uh, I use this every day for my blush and it picks up, it doesn't just pick up a whole, whole bunch of color where you're just wasting product. Um, it just picks up just enough just to go over and it is, uh, this is my holy grail blush brush. I am absolutely in love with this. So moving on to eye brushes. I have a couple BH Cosmetics, but I'll mention what brand they are as I'm talking about them. This first one is the a pencil brush. It's the E30. And I like using this to put uh, color on my lower lash line and I really like this blush but this brush to blend out the color I spend a lot of time on my lower lash line because I want it very um, pigmented right by my lashes but blended out and faded more as it's going down um, I personally like my lower lash line color to stand out a lot but I do like the bottom part not harsh and very very blended the angled shading E70 this is the medium size one Again, it's just a angled shading brush. Um, I personally use this to to deepen the outer corner. I love this brush. I've tried a pencil brush because I've seen people use them. I can't do that. I don't. I don't know. I can't use that small of a brush to blend out into my other colors. Um, but this just place right there, and I kind of swoop into my lid color and then just keep on dabbing in the color. Now, remember, the first part that you touch on your face or for eyes, this goes for both things. Uh, the first place you touch with that shadow is gonna be where the color is the darkest. Um, so when I, I want most of the color on the outer corner, so I'm gonna push it right here, but then I'm just gonna flick it out into the rest of my lid color, and then I can sometimes turn it and go into the crease a little bit. Again, it just depends on what look I'm doing and how um, blown out I want it to be. I want to mention with contouring, just real quick, same thing goes for this. When you're contouring, I you don't want to push here, you don't want to push here, you want to push right back here to create a shadow. So then it's d darker back here and then it fades as it comes forward to give you that sculpted effect. Um, you're, when, when contouring, you're creating a shadow. So you want the darkest back here. And then you want to make circular motions to blend out the color. And you can push it on your forehead, move it around on your jawline. Um, I kind of blend out the color everywhere. And, but you want to stay right in the hollows of your cheek. If you feel your cheek right there, okay, that's the apple of your cheek. But as you're moving d just a little bit down, right below the apple of the cheek, and then go back a little bit, Usually your ear to your mouth marks the hollow of your cheek, but it doesn't work for everybody. It's just um, a universal guideline for most people. Uh, it doesn't work for everyone though. But you can feel in the hollow of your cheek right here, right below. You'll feel the bone right here. That's your cheekbone. Right below it is the hollow where you want to contour. Again, if you want me to go into further detail about contouring or any parts of this video where you want to see in depth more, leave a comment down below and I'll be sure to do it. Okay, sorry. Moving on with more eye brushes. This is the Small Tapered Blending E45. This is a tapered blending brush. Um, again, if it, most likely if the color is black, it's a synthetic brush. Um, if it's white, it's goat hair. So this one I like 
you can use this for many purposes. I mean, you can use it to blend out the whole thing, but it's too, I think it's too tapered for that. So I like deepening the crease, whatever color I'm putting in my crease. If I want it to stand out um, and be very contoured in my crease, I like using this brush for. If I don't want it to be major contoured and like sculpted out where you can, just a very defined crease, I would like to use the E35, which is this is a tapered blending brush, but it's not as dense. Um, it's a little bit fluffier. Um, I this I personally like to, if I don't want a whole lot of deepening of the crease, then I use this. When I use a lighter color on my lid, I want to use a darker color in the crease. So that's when I use the other one. When I am pretty much doing a darker eye like I did today, and I go from dark then lighter and slowly fade up. I want to use a more fluffy brush so it's not as pigmented um, and a whole lot of product there. Large shader brush. This is the E60. It's just a big flat shader brush. Um, again, I just like using this is to put color all over the lid and also kind of blending into the crease a little bit. I've kind of been using that more um, for that purpose as well. Just kind of blending out the crease a little bit with the color that I had put on my lid. Then this last one is from BH Cosmetics, and this is their blending brush. Um, I mean, there's a million and a half blending brushes that are all going to do the same thing. Um, I mean, some of them might be tapered a little bit more, but you can get the same results with them. So these are just Sigmas to the tapered and then the uh, more or less dense one, and then this is BH Cosmetics version of it. I love, I love all three of these for... Um, kind of different purposes. I mean, this one, like I said, I like using as um, a lighter crease color, and then the more tapered one as to deepen the crease a lot with uh, lighter eyelid colors. Now this one is just a little bit bigger and a little bit less dense, so I like using it to blend out everything. Um, if I put a deeper shadow on the outer V, I like to push or um, kind of blend those two colors together right there. But then I also like blending out my crease color a little bit more where there's no harsh lines. And then also after I apply my highlight to kind of um, blend out my transition and highlighting color at both where there's just seamlessly and there's no harsh lines where one stops and one ends and everything like that. So I know this video is forever and a half long um, but this is my just all about brushes, what I use them for, uh, places that you can get them, just more brush information in general. Uh, if you want to know more about these brushes and more in depth of just one, particu one particular brush or just a few brushes, um, just more info on them, leave a comment down below. Um, if I need to go a lot more in depth, I'll do a video on it. If you just want a little bit more information or have any questions, then I'll answer it down below. Either or. So this was my brush video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Subscribe so you get notified every single time I put up a new video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!